No, it could not possibly have been. That phenomena that was predicted by Joel did not happen. It said nothing about signs and wonders in the sky above or earth beneath, or nothing about the interpretation of dreams or visions. None of that took place on Pentecost. In Peter's charisma in Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost, that is the Hebrew feast of weeks, Hag Shavuot, Peter says, this is like that. It is a partial fulfillment. The ultimate fulfillment of Joel chapter 2 will come with the return of Jesus in the last days, when the sun and moon will not give their light, etc. Things that are predicted by Jesus in the Olivet Discourse in Matthew 24 and so on. You had a partial fulfillment in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost that foreshadows to a degree what is going to happen, but the ultimate fulfillment could not possibly have happened then because those things such as the astral phenomena did not at that time transpire. It has a future meaning, but we need to be careful. The future meaning is primarily for Israel and the Jews. Although it says all flesh, we have to understand its first meaning is something to do with Israel and the Jews. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, a questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morio catalog on the Morio website, morio.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.